Today in Israel, a mounting death toll, a growing hostage crisis, and a military mobilization for a potential all out invasion of the Gaza Strip, with Israel's Prime Minister saying airstrikes in Gaza are just the beginning. We just started to hit the Hamas. <laughs> Some Americans flying to Israel to join the fight. This woman said goodbye to her brother. He wants to be there to support everybody. We want to be there too, but it's terrifying. The number of Americans killed is growing among the hundreds dead in the massive terror attack carried out by the Palestinian militant group Hamas. President Biden preparing to address the crisis from a White House lit up in Israel's blue and white. The administration acknowledging Americans may be among the hostages. We're going to do everything we can do to, to get them uh, home safe for their families where they belong. The president directing hostage recovery experts to help Israel and sending the U.S. Navy's most advanced aircraft carrier to the Israeli coast to deter further attacks, even as federal law enforcement monitor for any domestic threats here in the U.S. For Americans living in Israel, scenes of horror playing out. Abby Ahn says members of her family are missing after texting her that terrorists were inside their home. It's hard to close your eyes at night. U.S. officials promising not to look away from the devastation striking one of this country's closest allies. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.